Here's your weather video for this Sunday, November the 7th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and I hope you enjoyed that extra hour of sleep last night. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're probably up too early. We fall back, or, uh, as you know, as daylight saving time uh, ends, and that ended uh, this morning at 2 a.m. So uh, remember to set your clocks all around the house about an hour, or you're going to be really early to everything. This is uh, temperatures across Alabama early on this frosty morn. 29 this morning in Fort Payne, up in DeKalb County, 31 in Gadsden, lots of 32s across the board. Uh, temperatures uh, uh, in Birmingham, 36, 37 in Tuscaloosa, not quite as cold there, but uh, colder in the uh, northeastern part of the state uh, where winds were lighter overnight. Look to the east, you see uh, a lot of rain there along the coast of Georgia and the Carolinas, northeast Florida. That's a big coastal storm that those folks are dealing with. And um, they've been dealing with fits really all the way from northeast Georgia into the Chesapeake Bay. Here are uh, watches and warnings off the uh, EDD display from the uh, National Weather Service showing uh, all those coastal flood advisories and warnings there from uh, the Florida coast. Uh, along with uh, with small craft, gales, storm warnings, uh, all kind of wind warnings all the way there. Also from the Outer Banks of North Carolina uh, down into uh, eastern Florida. So uh, quite a storm causing quite a few problems. Dense fog advisories to our west here in Alabama uh, and uh, parts of eastern Tennessee, northwestern Georgia. They've got frost advisories just like we do. Even a freeze warning, uh, widespread frost across a wide area of the southeast uh, overnight last night and this morning. In the tropics, we're still tracking uh, Tropical Storm Wanda there uh, west of the Azores. Top winds 40 miles an hour. It is expected to become tro uh, post-tropical today. And uh, then that's going to be about it for a while from the tropics. We don't expect to hear much more out of the Atlantic. Here's the upper air pattern across North America showing a uh, big trough, the coastal low there to our southeast. It'll be uh, beginning to uh, push to the east uh, slowly over the next couple of days. Uh, by tomorrow, uh, you see it hasn't made much progress, but high pressure building over the Great Lakes and ridging down across much of the southern United States, and we'll take it. Here comes uh, midweek. This is Thursday uh, afternoon, showing another big trough developing over Minnesota and the Midwest. That will be our next weather maker, and uh, that system swings into place over Alabama and the southeast next Saturday. So you can kind of get the picture of what's going to go on from there. Uh, nice weather for midweek and then some colder weather for the weekend, and that's exactly what we expect today. Mid-60s, beautiful day across Alabama. We'll take it. Uh, even nicer temperatures the next four days. We'll be in the lower 70s generally across the area uh, through Thursday, but then temperatures on the roller coaster that we know is uh, autumn will be uh, bottoming out. Uh, struggling to get out of the 40s next Saturday. Let's go day by day with the GFS. This shows tomorrow the coastal low there east of uh, Savannah and Charleston. Here in Alabama, high pressure is large and in charge. We'll see uh, mostly sunny skies again tomorrow, just like today. Uh, daytime highs topping out in the lower 70s after uh, overnight lows uh, in the upper 30s to near 40. Move to Tuesday. Coastal low still out there, but here in Alabama, we're high and dry, enjoying beautiful weather again. High temperatures in the lower 70s. Again, lots of sunshine. Partly cloudy skies return on Wednesday uh, as moisture levels begin to rise just a bit and the trough gets itself organized to our west. We'll see again highs in the lower 70s. And then by Thursday we'll be watching a cold front approaching Alabama. Uh, showers and thunderstorms uh, aligned along it. Uh, it should be weakening by the time it limps in here late Thursday night, early Friday morning. We don't expect any severe weather from that system, but uh, that will turn us colder. Clearing uh, skies gradually during the day, rain ending on Friday, uh, and temperatures uh, remaining in the 50s all day. And then by Saturday, uh, that trough is in place right over us, the coldest air right near Alabama. We'll see temperatures uh, uh, probably uh, in the 30s Saturday morning, near freezing Sunday morning. High temperatures on Saturday, though, probably struggling to get out of the 40s across the northern half of the state. And uh, then as we go out toward the end of the period, this is Saturday the 20th, our next system. Uh, limping in here doesn't look like it's going to be much. Could be a decent rain producer, but nothing uh, in the way of severe weather showing up over the next two weeks. Uh, rain uh, off the operational GFS uh, shows some folks uh, going to get uh, very little. Some, some folks going to get an inch and a half. That's probably about true 
over the next two weeks uh, across the area. Don't forget to watch uh, or listen to the, the uh, Weather Brains podcast, our weekly netcast. It's all about weather. Proud of the uh, group of brains that we've assembled there tomorrow night uh, on um, on uh, Monday night. We're going to be talking to the producer of that movie, 13 Minutes. Uh, Travis Farncombe. It's going to be a great show. Should be a lot of fun. This movie's going to be a cult classic for weather people for a long, long time. That's Weather Brains. You can get it from all the normal sources where you get your podcast. Watch your weather video for this Sunday the 7th. I'll have notes on the blog and update on the forecast coming up at noon. Uh, James will be back two days all day, we, all day, every day this week. And uh, Scott will be back next Saturday. I'll see you Sunday. And until I get that chance, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.